I love that we have kids joining us, parents joining us, parents of children that are my age or older joining us. By the way, you're buying them the 100-day program, not the kids program. Although, I will say, now that we started the kids program, I'm saying to people in the 100-day program that bought it for their kids, um, do it yourself in your own bedroom. Like, if you're never good at organizing your own bedroom, this would be really helpful. Welcome to the Organized 365 Kids Program Masterclass. We are so glad you're here. I'm going to be ex uh, explaining today how we can build organizational skills in our children, and I define kids as zero to 23. <clears throat> My name is Elisa, and if you haven't met me, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I love Skyline Chile. I live here in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it is the Chile capital of the world. You're either Skyline or Gold Star, and I am Skyline. That's where I'm put. And I actually just had it out back with my dog before this masterclass. Love Skyline. In the middle is the dog that I had the Skyline with. No, he did not get to have any. That is Hunter. He is a Shiba Inu. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see him every once in a while. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can thank Hunter because he sits by the front door, not to go to the bathroom, but to go out every single morning at eight o'clock to talk so that I will talk to you on Instagram. If I open the door and I don't walk out to talk on Instagram, he just stays inside like, mom, this isn't the program. The other guilty indulgence that I have. I'm not like a wine drinker or anything like that, but Culver's onion rings piping hot. I will burn my mouth eating them. They are so yummy, hot, and salty. I love them. This is my family. I have two quasi-grown children and a husband. <laughs> this is Greg and I. The first person in the photo is Abby. She'll be 18 next week. And on the end is Joey, and he turned 19 in January. I have a couple of podcasts. You may have listened to them. The Organized 365 podcast just crossed 4.5 million downloads this spring. And the Sunday Basket podcast walks you through organizing your kitchen counter paper. I've also published a few books. One is The Mindset of Organization about these different phases of your life. The 100-day program addresses three out of four of the phases. The phase we've never really dove in very deep into in Organized 365 is phase one which is childhood, which is addressed in the program I'm about to share with you today. I also have a book called How ADHD Affects Home Organization. Um, this can help you with kids who have ADHD, parents who have ADHD, everyone who has ADHD. And just so you know, the executive functions of the brain, there are eight of them. We all have them. No one has perfect executive function. So ADHD or not ADHD, understanding how your brain works will really help you get organized. Now, before I talk to you about the kids program, let me tell you a little bit about my kids. Here is Abby. Now on her social media, she will show you her face, but if it involves mom, we do not like to show our face. So here's Abby. Abby loves animals. I just started homeschooling Abby one year ago. So here we are. This picture was taken by my phone when we were in a homeschooling session. Uh, I'm going through flashcards. You can see there. Hunter is curled up with uh, Abby, as soon as we started homeschooling, Hunter was like, oh, we do school now. So whenever Abby and I are together doing homeschooling, Hunter comes in. Abby is actually sitting in, in Hunter's bed. He's not so happy about that. And in her lap is Willow. And Willow is a ferret. She is adorable. She is mischievous. She has cost us a fortune, but she is so much fun to have in our family. Abby loves animals. This is Joey. If you were just at the Embrace Conference, you got to meet Joey. He has a heart of gold. He is such a servant leader. He is 19. He is going to a college for audio engineering, and he runs the sound for my live events. Uh, it's a two-year trade school, so he's halfway through his college experience already. He turned 19 in January, and he wants to be an entrepreneur and business owner because he's been watching his mom do it. All right, well, in this masterclass, you are going to learn a couple of things. You're going to learn that there are three different times of year where it is easiest for kids to clean out their bedroom, why I don't call it their bedroom, I actually call it a mini apartment, how I teach getting your bedroom organized the first time, and then after you've done that, what you do every Saturday and Sunday to maintain it, and how this program supports parents in general in teaching the skill of organization. So those are the big things we're going to cover. Let's get started with the three times of year it's easiest to clean your bedroom. Now, 
if you followed Organize 365 for a while, you know there are times where we start the 100-day program. Those are the easiest to organize your entire house. The times for kids are completely different than those, and they coincide with when they have breaks for school. So the first time um, that is easiest and best for them to clean out their room is right now, going into July, the end of June and July. It may take some kids the entire month. That's okay. We've got the whole month. It's no big deal. It's the best. It's the easiest time. The days seem so long. There's no expectation of school. Even if they're in sports, usually July is a really, really light sports month. There's not a lot going on there. They might be going to camps, but they're home on the weekends or they're home in the evenings. And so it's time when they can really look at those things. The other thing I noticed that happens in July is that kids tend to make in um, jump up in their skills and abilities over the summer. Everything they've learned in school kind of gels inside of them and they're ready for the next grade. As soon as you leave second grade, you label yourself a third grader, even though you won't start third grade for 10 more weeks. Like you don't say I'm a second grader who's going to start third grade in the fall. You're already the next grade. And when you're already the next grade in your mind, then you start thinking about all the kids that were that grade last year and what did they do differently? Maybe they had a different kind of binder or maybe they had more homework or maybe they were allowed to do a different after school activity that you've been too young to do up until this point. So you are expecting to be older and more mature as you go into the fall. And that summer is the transition from where you were to where you are going. And going through and really deep cleaning your bedroom, you tend to shed a lot of stuff that you now feel is too young for you and not where you're going to be going next. I just want to mention here that cleaning out your bedroom is totally different than your par parents saying, I want you to go clean and organize your room. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about looking at everything in your room and really deep cleaning it. Just like parents would go through the whole 100-day program in their house, this is like the kid's version in one month. Another time that is great to do this big clean out if you missed July and you're watching this replay is that winter break time frame, which is usually two weeks off of school. There are usually some boring days in that time when you are off from school where there's not an activity planned by the family, you don't have a project to do for school, you're just kind of waiting for the next family event. This is another great time to clean out your room. And then the final one would be spring break. If you're not going away from spring break, that's a great time to clean out your room as well. I've already recorded a podcast about these three times, and it will be coming out on July 10th. If you purchase the program, that recording is already there. You could start listening it to today. If you don't, on July 10th, it's a Wednesday, you'll hear all about what I just talked about. Now, let's talk about one of my favorite things. I like to call your bedroom your mini apartment. Um, this actually came from Emily is my sister who's on the call with me. And when I was a kid, I loved to babysit. And Emily and I are four years apart in age. So we have some similar interests, but not entirely. And we lived on a street kind of out in the country where there weren't a lot of kids. And the only kids there were, there were like two other kids and they were both boys. So we kind of played home a lot alone together. And I was very imaginative, as you can imagine. And I created this whole elaborate thing called Big Friend. And in Big Friend, our bicycles were our cars and we would meet in the kitchen and that was the cafe. And we had a map of where you would drive for the streets that were actually just our yard. And I would call our bedrooms our apartments because we were big friends. We were pretending that we were grown up people and our bedrooms were our apartments. So I actually treated my bedroom when I was 16 years old as an apartment and that it had all the zones. So what I'm telling you about today is actually how I thought of my bedroom when I was a child. Now, I wasn't allowed to have a TV or um, a refrigerator in my bedroom like my children do today. And you can make those rules for yourself going forward. But I did view that as my little space in the house that I was 100% in control of and responsible for. So I like to call a bedroom your mini apartment. And the reason why is because immediately children will take more ownership of that space if you call it their mini apartment, which means they're also responsible for it. So I know we've got some kids listening on, on the master class. I think you may also even have the program already. 
you get responsibility and you get opportunities from your family to do more things in your mini apartment when you can prove that you can keep it clean and orderly and they don't have to constantly nag you about it. So this mini apartment is not just about you getting ownership of your space, it's also about you being free to explore who you are in that space as well. The second reason I like to call it a mini apartment is because it really is. Like it's not a bedroom, like your parents' bedroom probably maybe has a TV in there, so they might watch TV, they might do reading, and they sleep in there. Now, some parents do more than that, but all parents pretty much sleep in their bedroom and maybe do reading in their bedroom. But they don't have snacks in their bedroom or do homework in their bedroom or, you know, any of those other things. You know, they might get dressed, but they, maybe their closet isn't right in their bedroom. They're not going to work on their scrapbooks in their bedroom or store your baby clothes in their bedroom. But you, you are because your mini apartment is an apartment and it's like, hashtag all the stuff that's yours in one place. So it is where you do homework, where you might have snacks, where you'll rest and you'll sleep and you'll watch YouTube and you talk to your friends and you'll have friends over and you'll play and you'll read and you'll store your memories and so much more. So when we can think about it as a little apartment, it makes it easier to clean it because you realize that there are so many things going on and each thing needs a different kind of organizing. All of these organizational skills will go with you from your mini apartment into your dorm room or your first apartment, your first condo, your first house. That is going to be coming next year when we add on the launch program. The next thing I want you to really realize is organization is a learnable skill. Now, some people are more naturally organized than others. I am definitely a naturally organized person, but it doesn't mean that you can't learn the skill of organizing. Sometimes it takes longer, but it is a learnable skill. I was a teacher. I've taught everything from four-year-old preschool all the way to eighth grade math. I've taught every single grade in there. I understand how kids learn and how to break down complex um, concepts into easy step-by-step -step directions. So I'm going to teach you the skill of getting organized the first time when we do this big learn cleanup which is why this is great, we're going into July. In the program, the main component of teaching you how to get organized is called LEARN. And LEARN has 20 lessons in it. Now don't get overwhelmed. You could do one lesson at a time and they kind of grow on each other. So for example, we have like four or five or six, I can't remember, lessons specifically about clothing. And I talk you through, like in the first lesson, first let's talk about what are your favorite clothes? Why are they your favorite clothes? What kind of clothes are in your closet that you just never like? No matter how new they are or fancy they are, you're never going to wear them because they're not comfortable with you. And we really talk through that so that you have the language and the words to go back to your parents and say, you know what, I don't like turtlenecks because I feel like they're choking me. Or this one brand tag always makes my back scratchy. Or I used to like jeans, but now they just make my legs hot and they're super stiff and I don't like wearing jeans. Like being able to use those kinds of words with your parents, then it's not like, I don't like it. And what your parents hear when you say, I don't like it is that you don't appreciate they just spent time and money on you buying you new clothes when they probably don't buy clothes for themselves. Often parents will not buy clothes for themselves because they're always buying clothes for you. And then if you don't like it, then they are like you're not grateful. And that, that's not right. You don't like it because you feel like you're being choked and the legs are too stiff. But if you could say, I feel like I'm being choked and the legs are too stiff, then whoever is buying clothes for you, your mom, your dad, your parent, your guardian, whoever, can then be like, oh, she doesn't like turtlenecks, so I'll get a collared shirt or I'll get a V-neck. Oh, she doesn't like jeans, but these jeans are really soft double washed, so she might like those or he might like those. So learn is not just about how to get organized, but why, why you want to get organized and what you're going to do with each one. So after we know what we like in clothes, then we go through and we clean out our clothes. And I actually clean out Joey's closet in, in college with him and you watch us do it. Then we organize the clothes that are left. And then after that, we decide, okay, now that the clothes are organized, how many pairs of underwear should you have? How many jeans should you have? And it's not carte blanche like you're allowed to go out and buy as much as you want to buy. It's more... Um, if your parents are going to spend money on you on clothes anyway, 
and you have two pairs of underwear, but you really want the 18th sweatshirt, might be time to invest some of that money in underwear instead of a sweatshirt. And leveling up and knowing what you have in your bedroom at all times and creating a good wardrobe that you will want to take with you in the future, even if you are seven, eight, nine years old. The earlier you learn this stuff, the better. So when we're organizing anything, and I kind of walked through that clothing one, we want to know what you have, why you have it, if you still want it, and if you want it, where are you going to store it? So what is it? Why do you even have it? And what are we going to do with it when we, um, when we are done? Okay, let me pause for just one second. Sorry, my dog is literally going nuts. All right, and we're back. So we are going to learn how to get organized. And these, these lessons about learning are called <laughs> learn. The whole program is called learn. This section of the program is called learn. The learn lessons are to be designed to be done once. They can be done like every summer you could go back through them, but it's not like you do all 20 lessons and then you start over again. And they could not all be done in one day. Um, they could be done in a week. A month is a great amount of time. It's going to take some time to process through this room if you've never really been organized before and really learning all of these different things. As you go through the program, you will be able to check each lesson as you complete them, so you'll be able to see your progress. And someone said, well, what if you have two kids going through the program at the same time, which was a great question. So we have solved that problem. When you're in lesson one, you can download a printable checklist, and then you would have that maybe on the kitchen counter, and you would just check those off at the end of the day of how much each child got done. So it wouldn't be on the dashboard, it would be more on your physical printable sheet. Like I said, learn is going to take you a while. Your bedroom didn't get disorganized overnight. It's not going to get organized overnight, but July is the perfect month to work on this. After you're done with learn and you've gone through, and we're going to walk through toys and clothes and passion projects and memories and school supplies and your bed and all the different areas, we will cover them all. Once you're done, you're ready to do Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is what you're used to your parents or guardian saying, go clean your room, which is such a loaded question um, and very overwhelming. But I break down Saturday. These pages, when you log on, will be like a YouTube channel where you just watch this video, then this one, then this one, then this one, all down the page. So it's almost like when you're sent to your room on Saturday to clean your room, you can open up your phone or your iPad or your computer and you just start on the first video, do what I say, go to the second one, do what I say. And when you're done, your room will be clean and organized. There are seven videos, four for organizing and three for cleaning, depending on if your parents have you clean in addition to organizing. Once you do learn and your bedroom clean out, then you're going to be able to keep your bedroom clean and organized. And Sunday is something you've never seen anywhere else. It's totally a Lisa thing. And this is planning day. So if your parents have, um, and I notice I'm talking like I'm talking to the kids and there are like three kids on here and mostly parents. I just love talking to the kids about the kids program. So if you're doing Sunday, if your parents have a Sunday basket, this is similar for you. We're going to do planning and you have a printable for this again. It's set up like a YouTube channel where there's a video, a video, a video all the way down. And when you're done with these six videos, you're done with planning. It involves completely clearing out your backpack, finishing your homework, going through your Lisa binder. I show you how to set up a Lisa binder, filling all your activity bags for the week, giving your parents or guardians any papers they need for your one clip or your Sunday basket, and then planning out your week on paper. It's really, really important to get in the habit of planning out your week on paper. Even if you don't use that plan after Sunday, this is when you're gonna realize that you have a math test on Wednesday, but you have two after school activities on um, Tuesday night. And so you're going to need to study for that math test on Monday night because you won't have time on Tuesday night and things like that. Those are the things you only notice when you actually plan everything out on paper. And the way we plan out on paper, it's not every single thing you're going to do every day. Like in the school block, it may be blank all week, but on Wednesday, it would say math test. And before school, it may be blank all week, but on Friday, it would say, remember to bring a sack lunch for the field trip. Some of those out of the ordinary things that aren't normally on there. Oh, 
That's what I just said. So the LEARN program also has support for parents because learning the skill of organization for yourself and teaching the skill of organization are two different skills. So you as a parent may not be organized and so you can't teach your child. So you want this program so you can learn how to be organized as well. Or you may be very organized, but you don't know how to break it down so that your child can be organized. If you have three or more children, you likely have a born organized child. And when you say to that child, go organize your room, they're fine. They go and they organize your room, no problem. And you're like, why do the other two not know how to do this? And it's because they just have a little bit more organization innately in their bodies and they don't need as much of it to be taught. So the kids program is going to support all kids zero to 23 because kids under the age of five are going to need you to do the organizing for them. So there's a section all about how to teach your kids to get organized. There's a section for parents zero to five, everything that needs to be done for organization for little kids. In that we tell you how to set up their bedroom, playroom, um, feeding areas, all those things that you didn't used to have in your house before you had little children. And a lot of what I teach you is how people set up preschools and kindergartens. There's a reason why every time you walk into a preschool, daycare, or kindergarten all across the United States, they all pretty much look the same because that's the way little kids need organization organized for them. And we teach you how to take the best things out of a daycare, preschool, or kindergarten and put it in your house so that the kids can at least put things away when you establish the organization. Oh. I just said all of that without slides. <laughs> so these are our different ages. Now, when you're in the LEARN program, the big program of 20 lessons, you do learn organization differently from six to 12 than you do from 13 to 14, but it's all together. And because I've taught all of these ages, the way I speak, a six-year-old can fi figure out what a 16-year-old can as well. There are a couple of times where there'll be an additional level lesson that'll say level two. And that's specifically when I'm up at college with Joey and we're talking about how we've taken him from his bedroom to this college apartment and some of the changes that we've made. Then like I mentioned before, launch will be coming in 2020 at no additional cost. And this is when we're gonna be talking about how do we launch? How do we launch out of that childhood bedroom into an apartment, a condo, a dorm, you know, whatever your next dwelling will be. Everything that I just mentioned and more will be coming on a podcast um, next Wednesday about the four phases of a kid's life. So let me tell you, let's stop here before this. Um, Emily, let's go through and talk about what they said. Tell me what they, what they say. Okay. So lots what was the question you asked them again? Because it didn't get recorded in the recording. What is their goal if they were to join the uh, kids program and or what would be one thing they would want their children to learn about organization this summer? Okay, great. So, let me get to the top here. Yeah, why don't you read those and then I'll kind of point out where those are going to be in the program. Well, I mentioned the first one was allow teenage boy to have his own space and be able to take it with him to college. I said we did that with Joey, so that's definitely a part of the program. Have a healthier and slightly easier school year this coming year. Oh, yes. And your uh, kid wants that too, by the way. Like they totally want that. My daughter said, my number one goal is to not have so much stuff ransacking my closet. Mm -hmm. Have my son be ready to launch, similar to the first one. I want my son to develop lifelong organizational habits. Okay, one of the things I want to mention is we're mentioning a lot of sons and Organize 365 up until this point has pretty much been me talking to American women. Like that has been our target market. With the kids program, it is completely appropriate for boys. Actually, it may be a little bit more boy than girl heavy. Uh, if anything, if I was showing how to organize something, I lean towards something maybe boys might be a little bit more interested than girls. We have... Um, printable options, like the one printable you saw comes in four different color schemes, depending on whatever color you like best. But I held up probably the most masculine of the colors or that color choice when I was holding things up. So this program is designed for boys and girls purposefully. And we'll be moving men into Organize 365 probably in late 2000 uh, or 2020, 2021. 220, 221, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, right. 
my number one goal is to get them to understand that mommy simply cannot do all the things, especially when the new baby comes. I need their help in oh. what better place than in their own rooms. And here's the thing, kids, if you're listening, you, you want ownership of your bedroom. They want ownership of their bedroom, but they need the skills to do it. And I think I mentioned this on Instagram Live this morning. Well, let's just be clear. A lot of what I'm going to share in this program, parents, you're going to be like, I said that. I told them that. But I'm going to say it. Lisa Woodruff is going to say it, and they're going to do it. And that's just the law of parenting. If somebody else says it, they're going to do it. If you say it, you know, they might not. I don't want my kids to struggle with organization and planning their time. And someone else said to break the cycle of um, being unorganized in their family. Ready for the school year planning for ACT testing and sports. I would like to have my daughter be able to establish a way to get organized without my help. And to take my desires for him away, let it be his. I have, uh, let's see. A lot of people chimed in about their dogs. I told them about Rocco. <laughs> uh, make sure my sister doesn't mess everything up. I thought that was funny. That must have been a child typing that in. Uh, uh, get up and get dressed without my help. How to get my daughter to understand that getting rid of things is okay. She wants to keep everything. She's very concerned about garbage in the oceans and saving the sea turtles. And that's great, but we live in Illinois. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my goal is to have them not carry on our family traditions of disorganization. That's the one I just mentioned. Teach them how to care for and love their own space and have them take another step towards independence. Uh, learn myself and help my grandchildren, particularly the oldest, particularly the oldest, almost 11, learn. Be more independent in the morning when school starts back. Um, teaching them so they can help me with breaking the cycle of disorganization. Someone else said the same thing. Um, launching my 18 year old boy to college this year. And then this, I think is in response to what you were sharing. Yeah. Um, been fighting for this for 17 years. So looking forward to having it explained differently for home, for him to understand. I was a drill sergeant, not a kid's teacher, more my way or the highway trying to change. Yeah, I like this. I'm hoping it helps me as an adult. And after I got done recording all the videos, which you guys, this program is like massive. They're like 75 videos. It, it is a humongous program that we're giving you. Um, doable, organized, but it's not kids organization light. It's not like pick up your toys and then pick up your floor and then back near them and you're done. No, it is, it is as deep and thoughtful as you can possibly get in relation to kids. Um, I've never seen anything like it. And I, it took me two years to make it because I couldn't get my brain around how to make it simpler. And the problem is you can't. Kids are smaller than us, but they're just as complex as us. And we put everything they own in one room and it takes a lot to do that. And when you say it helps you organize you as an adult or not pass on your disorganization to your kids, so true. If you did not learn to read as a child in school, it is much harder to learn to read as an adult. If you do not learn how to organize your bedroom, it is so hard to learn how to organize a house. So if you are struggling organizing your house, after I got this totally done, I was like, you know what? Some of the people in the 100-day program that are really struggling should go through the kids program and really get their bedrooms organized all the way organized and then start doing the 100 day program because what happens in your bedroom is pretty much what happens in the rest of your house. <laughs> Losing things in the move. And I love that people are considering this for their grandchildren. I think it's an amazing gift for your grandchildren and another way you can help your actual children, children by taking this off of them. Like if you have the time and the wherewithal to work on this with your grandchild, it is the biggest blessing you can give your kids. Anything else, Emily? That's all. Okay, so any other questions? So that's what they wanted to get out of it. Any other questions about um, anything I've already mentioned about the kids program and how it was created or what's included in the different lessons? <laughs> uh, is there a money back guarantee? There is not. There's not a money back guarantee. but I doubt you will need it. And we, 
I don't think we ever get a, a request for somebody from our 100 no. day program either, where they say, you know what, it wasn't what I thought it would be, or it wasn't as much or whatever. I mean, there's so much in there. I, I was the one who input all the information into the portal for this. And I don't have any children, but I will tell you, in my experience and being a child, it is extremely comprehensive. I, can't, I couldn't think of anything that was missing. Yes, and in addition to this masterclass, if you go over to organize365.com slash kids, there's another 30 minute video there. And that video, I actually show you behind the scenes. Here's this slash pocket, here's what's in it. Here's what a lesson looks like. So I don't have that in this masterclass here, but head on over there and watch that 30 minute video. It'll give you a lot more of that detail. Someone's asking, is the Sunday planning time content pretty detailed? Yeah. So how to fill out that, um, that schedule at the end, I think that was a 13 minute video and I really went into what you would and wouldn't put on there. You should come out with a planner slash calendar for kids to plan their week and write it down. Yes, my content team would like to create that. We're considering it. The reason I didn't initially is number one, this is a digital program and I didn't want to come out with more uh, products that needed to be bought so that people could focus on organizing versus products. And number two, almost every single school gives a child a planner and they kind of have that planner to use. So I'm thinking about it, but it's, it's not currently in the works. But there is a printable in the program that they can print out every week and fill out that's similar if you're in the 100 day program and you use the planner for that, it's similar to that where it says, you know, what am I going to be doing before school, during school, after school, so that they can plan for their tests and things like that Lisa mentioned. So there is a printable included in that that you can print for them every week in the meantime. Yeah, I think there are uh, well over 20, I want to say maybe 30 printables in the program that you just download and print. There are a lot, a lot of printables. Um, again, so that it's all digital, so that they're didn't have to be anything shipped, so it could be purchased internationally, so you could print what you wanted when you needed it uh, and not need to reorder things. You would have it all with you. Along those lines, somebody says, we can access this multiple times, correct? My son is away for the summer, but I want him to do it when he gets back. Yes, similar to all my programs, once you buy it, you have access to it. Um, there is no expiration on that. Kids sharing a room, we do address that in the program for sure. Um, is the Sunday planning relevant for homeschool kids? I think it's more relevant for homeschool kids than school age kids because depending on how you homeschool, kids love structure. They resist it, but they love it. It makes them feel more comfortable. So when you homeschool, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you do that could be extracurricular. So when I say school, that's just their school time at home. And that may be, you know, you'd write different things in there, but definitely, definitely applicable to homeschooling. Jean's asking, I love the idea of helping with the grandkids. Any way to share the videos or would they have to come to my house to do them? Well, if you log in to your... So this, this program is delivered through the Organize 365 dashboard. So if you're a 100-day program member, you already know you have those slash pockets. This is going to unlock more slash pockets in your dashboard. The reason I did that was because I did not want to be selling to children, and I didn't want to have children giving me emails and log in just for liability reasons. I want it all running through parents, grandparents, caregivers, guardians. Um, so however you do that and you get them logged in, I'm sure you could figure that out. What about making a kids Lisa bookmark instead of a planner? Ooh, I think we're going to just add Tracy to our product development team. Emily, write it down. <laughs> do you suggest we sit and go through the program with our child or is it meant for them to do on their own? Just like in this master class where I pretty much was talking to kids 80% of the time and now I'm talking to parents, um, all of the videos in the learn Saturday and Sunday slash pockets on the dashboard are me talking to your child. Everything in parent, I don't think there are very many videos in parent, and everything in littles, zero to five-year-olds, I'm talking to parents. So I'm talking to them as if I'm a school teacher because I was a school teacher. How would I teach this in school? That's exactly how I'm doing it with supporting worksheets below there, which we call printables. I think it's beneficial to go through it together if you want to. Um, or to watch it together and then have them watch it on their own. And if they struggle, go through it. I, you could do it anyway. I am definitely not giving them any house rules. I'm very clear about that, that this is what I do here. or This is an option. Go ask your parent or guardian. 
Um, do not use me against your parent or guardian. I'm very careful. No parenting advice is given at all. Okay, so let me tell you how it is structured. The way we created this program, I could have sold it for $1,000. There's so much in there, but I want as many families of children to go through this as possible. So the, the cost of the program is $299, but I know that if you as an adult are working on your organization, your child will be 10 times more likely to be successful. If you're investing in your own organization by going through the 100 day program and getting your house organized, and this is gonna be the program your children are doing while you're doing the 100 day program, they are going to be 10 times more likely to do it just because you're modeling it yourself and you have slash pockets to open on your dashboard too and they feel like they're doing it with you. Um, if you're already an organized person and you don't need the 100 day program or you're a professional organizer, but you want to learn about how to organize kids organization or, or help your kids get organized, you don't know how to teach it, you just know how to do it, then you can buy it. You can totally buy it for $2.99. But the majority of people will actually upgrade, purchase the 100 day program or, or join all access and then go back and buy the program for their children. And again, like I said, I don't want to be taking credit card numbers from children. I don't want to be giving children access to the portal. So it needs to come through a parent. And then also we have parent Facebook groups. I'm not setting up a Facebook group for children. I just don't feel comfortable with that. So if you're in the 100 day program, you're going to be able to ask kid related um, questions. So we needed you in the 100 day program. And if you decide to go all in on your organization, then we will give you a $200 discount on the program and it is $99. So it is an all digital program. $99, you just need one program for your entire family. Now, I did create an optional kids bundle. This would be one per child. There's a boy version and a girl version. And in the videos, you are going to see these specific products mentioned and referenced as you go along because it helps kids get organized. This is completely optional. You can buy it when you buy the program or you can add it on later. Um, but these things will be mentioned. So let me go through the things that I am gonna mention. This is how you make a Lisa binder. One of the things that I noticed with my kids who struggle with attention, and let's just be clear, there's just too much going on right now in children's lives. That's why they are so anxious. There's so much thrown at them, not in an organized way. And you get home and you have your math book and you have the folder, but you forgot the notebook. Now you can't study for the test because you didn't have the notebook. And what I found for my personal children, and then I implemented when I was a classroom teacher, forget the multiple folders and notebooks and all that stuff, one binder. One binder with slash pockets in it, labeled a certain way. That's what I call the Lisa binder. Whether you use mine or create your own, we're all gonna to go to one binder. It's called the Lisa binder. And we are coming out with this new lattice binder. We just came out with it last week. So it's white, it's neutral. Um, and then you get a set of 1.0 and a set of 2.0 slash pockets. You'll use some of those in this Lisa binder and some you'll use in launch, which is coming next year. The second thing that's included in this bundle is one of these little customizable kids clips. You choose boy or you choose girl. They don't call, come colored like this. They are, um, let's see if I can grab one. Yeah. Oh, mine are already colored in. Jeez. I just, I'm coloring crazy. If you look up the little screen where you can see my face, you can see this little clip. See, I, I colored his shirt red, but the rest of him has just uh, outlined. So there's a girl, I colored her dress green, but you can color their hair, you can color their legs, you can color their skin tone, you can make them whatever you want. 100% customizable, a girl or a boy clip, these are gonna go on our refrigerator. The next thing that's included in this kit is the school memory binder. And this is a binder with some printables in it to keep the memories of your school years from preschool through sixth grade and a whole bunch of sheet protectors to put in all of your memories that you wanna keep. Um, the drawings that you've done, the writings that you've done, the certificates that you've earned, all of that will go in the school memories binder. So these three pieces, the Lisa, the Lisa binder, the school memories binder, and the one clips are going to help keep the kids organized as well. Emily, any other questions that you see there? Oh, uh, let's see. Nope, no questions. Okay, 
So I'll just go back these slides a little bit and type in your questions going once, going twice on the questions. Um, the 100 day program or the 100, the kids program is $299. But if you're already in the 100 day program, you can get a $200 discount and purchase it for $99, 100% digital. You can purchase it internationally. If you have trouble purchasing internationally, just email us. There is a way to work around it because there is no physical component. And then if you want to get a kid's bundle, it's either boy or girl, and we'll ship those out the next day. What is the Lisa binder? Is it similar to the Sunday basket? No, it's completely different. It's, it's for kids in school, keeping their schoolwork organized. Oh, everything is already, there's no additional charges. So the launch program for 18 to 23 year olds is coming next year. It will be an additional digital component. It will be another slash pocket that will be in your row of five. There will all of a sudden be a sixth slash pocket. It will be unlocked. There will be no additional fee. There will be no additional products. Someone's asking, did you say all in includes this kids program? I'm assuming they mean all access. Kids no, this program is a, is a standalone. It's yeah, not included it's in any other program. Yes. And someone wants to know how much is the bundle. The bundle is $99. Can you show that slide, Lisa? Yep, I can. And that's what's included in that. How does this work for teens? Same exact way. The way I spoke in the videos in Learn, um, I very much was probably talking to about a 12 or 13 year old. So if your child is younger, I'm talking maybe a few grade levels up from them. If your child is older, I may be talking a few grade levels down, but pretty much I talk the same way to a seven year old as I do a 17 year old. I mean, they're humans. So they, same thing, they, if their room is not organized right now, they need to learn the skill. The skill didn't change just because they got older, but it, I don't, make it babified and I don't say like, okay, little kids or big kids. I don't do any of that. I'm very, matter of fact, baby bundle. You guys are hilarious. Um, there is no discount code. If you're in the 100 day program, you'll just see when you go to select kids and choose, you'll see you can buy it for $2.99 or you can buy it for $99. Buy it for $99. <laughs> okay, someone's saying this program is wonderful. My 13 year old has already started it. He compares it to my 100 day program. Awesome. Jana is saying, so $200 for the digital program and the optional bundle. So yep. Jana, it is $299 for the digital program if you are not in the 100 days. If you join the 100 days, or if you're already in the 100 days, then the kids digital program is $99. The optional bundle is an additional $99 for the physical products that are showing on the screen right now. Does that make sense, Jana? Yeah, and someone's asking how much is the 100-day program? So the 100-day prog program is $497, but you can also get it on a payment plan for $99 a month for six months. So you can sign up on the payment plan for $99 for the 100-day program and then buy the kids program for $99. And then you'll just have payments on the 100-day program going forward. And I'm putting the um, website for purchasing the 100 days is up there. Great. And I'm going to put the kids there also. You can see it on okay. the bottom of the, of the um, slide, but it's also in the chat. And someone's saying no printables in the bundle. The printables in the program are in the program. You can print them out. You don't need to buy the bundle for that. The printables you see on the screen right now are included in the bundle because those are the printables that go in the school memory binder. Other questions about how it works as far as the digital portion versus the bundle portion? Distorted. <laughs> okay, we love that. Okay, so this recording will be over on that same page, organize365.com slash kids if you're not ready to make the investment. But let's just, what, what camp could you put your child in for $299 and at the end of the camp, they have an organized room. Let's just put it in that perspective. Like this is a great investment in your child's future. There is no end to it. It's not a one time done. I would have your kids go through it every July. I go through my kid's bedroom like this every July and they know it. Thank you so much for joining us. It has been a pleasure. Um, 
We are really, really looking forward to helping you get your kids organized. Please, please, please take pictures of them opening their boxes and organizing their rooms and tag us on Facebook and in Instagram. I want to be there vicariously with you guys. All right. Thanks, everyone.